Welcome back to the fourth shop y'all shop yard y'all. I'm Ryan. And today we're here we're here at the house at the new place. And I've been working on this pile right here, trying to get it cleaned up. Um I got all the cinder blocks out yesterday. It took me about an hour, hour and a half maybe to break up all the rubble and get all the blocks out. And as you can see there's all the blocks right there. There's probably thirty five if not more. I say maybe Really, probably not even that many. I'd say at most there's 30. At most, I'd say there's 30. So, there's a lot of them. I got some around in front of the house there. But, uh, just gotta get all that rubble picked up and cleaned up. Because I'm putting the Maverick right there. Right there. Right where that rubble is. That's where I'm putting my car at. You can see Frankie over there. I cranked him up yesterday and moved him around some. Yes, Jaja, say hey YouTube, tell YouTube hey baby, what do you think, what do you think dude? is daddy making a YouTube video, I am, I am, I'm making a YouTube video, it's yes guys, but um, we're gonna take a ride over to the trailer, and I'll see you when we get there. Guys, we're almost at the trailer, but um, yeah, I actually talked to a guy who said that uh, he would he could move all three of my vehicles for seventy dollars a feet, seventy dollars a trip. So um, I'm thinking about doing that. I think I'm going to go the cheapest way though and spend the 50 bucks and just go rent me a trailer and move them all for one money. I don't know yet. I'd rather have a tow truck come pick them up and move them for me because I really don't want to pull anything doing a lot of heavy pulling with my pickup truck here. Because, um, I don't want to have no big problems out of it. But, see you when we get there. But, um, yeah, guys, so, so, like I said, we're on our way to the trailer now. Uh, I'll be there in about five minutes. Riding up through Jefferson now, so. I think we're gonna do, um, Thanksgiving coming up. We're going. We're planning on taking a trip to the mountains for Thanksgiving. I'm going to take my truck here, and uh, so I got to get it cleaned out, straightened out, and see if I can get that ball joint replaced on the driver's side upper ball joint. Got to get it replaced before we go we go on the trip, picnic in the mountains, for Thanksgiving. Excuse me. So that's gonna be a fun day. Um, this truck here, I tell you guys, it don't get too bad gas mileage. We took it to Atlanta, Georgia. I know, we took it to Augusta. Got about 25 miles a gallon. So, there's a the town hall. Here we are at 
car over here at the trailer. I gotta get some tires off the back of my dog on the truck. Everything seems to be in order. Guys, this is no lie. I have locked my keys in my truck three times in the past month or so. Three times. But I've got a lockout kit like they use. Um, and I get into it every time, no problem. But here we are at the trailer, guys. Um, like I said, I'm not sure if I want to spend the $200 to have a tow truck come move them off three or if I just want to spend the four, 50 bucks and rent the trailer and move myself. i say it again. I really don't want to... I mean, I know it would save me money, but I really don't want to rent a trailer and move myself because, you know, I don't have anything long enough to, 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 to hook to my truck and to my vehicles to pull them up on the trailer with. And I don't want to put any unneeded stress on my truck because it runs so good. I don't want it to have no problems. I mean, this is a damn good riding truck, and I don't want to wear it out. But, um, but yeah. Um, ready to get them all moved. Actually, as I told y'all, that pile that y'all seen earlier over at the house is where I'm putting my car. I'm putting my car right where that pile is going to be. Or right, right where that pile is is where I'm going to put my car at. I'm going to back it up in there. That way I can get it jacked all the way up. I want to take all four wheels off, block it up good, so I can work all the way around it, underneath it, and get it back running and driving like it's supposed to be. And so, um, but yeah. I gotta put starting all back on. A lot of work to do, and uh, I intend on getting it done very, very soon. As you can see, here we are at the white truck, and uh, I'm thinking this is gonna be the first one I move because it's, it's I pulled it out, so I'm gonna move it first. It still pisses me off they stole my damn brand new headlight out of my truck. That was a brand new damn headlight. Cost me almost a hundred bucks. And the markers are brand new too. But I've got a spot that I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm working on cleaning out for my white truck and my pickup truck there. Up on the hill opposite where the camper is. On the opposite side of the wood line. I'm putting them out there so I ain't in the way. Cause I still gotta get the motor work done to this thing. Get it back running and and uh, put another motor in my truck. But um, it's all coming in time. All right. And speaking of old Daisy here, like I said, I got a spot cleaned out. I'm gonna put the white truck in this truck up opposite the camper. I'm actually gonna, guys. Um, old Daisy's got to have a new motor and transmission put in. As y'all see that ratchet strap is what's holding the transmission up. I'm dragging the ground. But um you know, Chev I don't know what it was with Chevrolet uh they they did I'm not saying Ford's stupid for not doing this, but Chevrolet did something that I've always and I thought was the neatest thing in the world. My friend Dakota Evans, his uh YouTube channel is uh Phantom Works, y'all go check that out. Uh, he's got a bunch of Chevrolet trucks, old Chevrolet trucks from the 60s. And, um, for the transmission sits, they got a little cross member there for the transmission sit on. So if you take the motor out, the transmission don't fall down like my pickup did. I don't know why Ford didn't do this. Maybe they did it in their older, I mean, this is a 94. Maybe they did it back in the 60s when Chevrolet was doing it. I don't know. Um, I never got to get up and close and personal to a 60s. 
Ford. I mean, the Mavericks are 74. And it don't got a cross member down there like the Chevrolets do. But I wonder if Ford did the same thing Chevrolet did. I don't think they did. Why, I don't know. But it never made a lot of sense to me. And clearly Chevrolet didn't go cheaper when they did that back in, back then. Ford didn't. I don't know if Ford. I'd like to know if Ford did that. They should have did it. You know, they should do it all the time. I mean, you shouldn't have to, you know, put a jack underneath your transmission and you pull your motor out. You shouldn't You shouldn't have to do that. And, uh, like, when I pull the motor out of my truck, as y'all seen, it fell down. But, can't wait to get these guys home. Get these two up on the hill. So I can put them out to pasture for a little while longer. Until I get the money up to... Put another motor and transmission on this and get it on the road and get that in the shop, get it running. The Maverick's the first one I'm going to work on, though. Like I said, I'm going to get it home, get it blocked up, and um, bleed the brakes. Finish doing a little bit of motor work to get it running, put the starter on, water pump, alternator, all that. Uh, I got some new parts I'm going to get for it for Christmas. The new Maverick badge there is going to be, I'm going to get one for it. I'm going to get the trunk badge as well for right there. See if y'all see it. Can y'all see where it made out? Uh, Yeah, you can see it right there. It says I-C-K. You just barely make that out. But I've got to put some gas in the gas tank. Two new badges for the grill in the trunk. New set of rear shocks I'm going to get for Christmas. Um, I need to order a new set of headlight retainer rings. That one wasn't broke, but that one broke when I was putting the new headlight in. The new headlight's actually in my pickup truck there. But I'm going to get all those new parts and put them on. And uh, I can't believe the little hood lip trim here that goes right here. All the way across. That damn piece is almost two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. I said that's some crazy stuff. Two hundred dollars for a simple piece of trim. Hell, the bumpers are almost four hundred. That ain't no lie. So I'd like to have them re-chrome, but I might just replace them. If I could come with that kind of money to replace the bumpers, I would. But, um, but yeah, uh, a lot of work to be done to this thing. I'm working on clearing out the spot to put my pickup truck now. Now, like I told you before, I got the spot where that the center block to put this thing is. I got it cleaned up, just gotta get the rubble moved, and uh, I got two. Uh, trash can and a tote filled up with junk now I gotta take it and dump it but um can't wait to get these things moved in the next couple of weeks and uh, I'm just patiently waiting because I want to get them all moved but um but yeah but yep yeah. but that's going to be it for today's video, guys. If y'all like this video, please go subscribe to my channel, The Ford Shop Yard. There's a lot of great content. Um, and like, comment, and subscribe, please. Thank you, guys. Bye.